Okay, this is um, how you're going to go about analyzing your data from the uh, electrostatic force lab, the Coulomb's Law lab. First, you need the tracker. So you're going to type in tracker and search for it. It should be the first one here. And then scroll down and pick one, let's say 4.75 jar pile. It'll open up, it'll save, and then you'll want to uh, hit keep and um, you'll want to start it up. Okay, then after you have that tracker program uploaded, and mine's starting up right now, then I need to analyze one of the videos. Now yesterday we were having some problems with getting the videos to start up, so I think I've figured out a workaround for this. So you're going to um, go to my big campus. You're going to choose, uh, when your groups choose the um, R class. Then if you go to resources, choose the balloon lab folder. And here are the videos and you'll be able to download the videos from here and they're mp4 so it shouldn't be a problem I noticed that when you click download it doesn't work you have to hit um, right click download and then click save link as and then it'll save wherever you want it I'm gonna put it on my desktop and I'm gonna call this one this is the first video Save and you could do it for any of them. And all right. Right click. Save link as this is the second video. And then I will go ahead and do the last one. Again, right click, save link as, and I'll choose this as three, and hit save. Okay, then I can go ahead and open up my tracker, or reopen it, I should say. It's, it's here already. I'm going to go File, Open, and let's say that I'm just going to choose the first one here. Hit open, should load up. Then I'm going to hit play here. I notice the pith ball starts to move. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's moving already. So around there, so I'm going to right click on this, set this to 63. And then hit play. Kind of impatient here. Yeah, that's good enough. And that's 584. Right click, set this to 584. Okay, and so my frames go from 63 to 584. I only need six data points. So 584 minus 63 is 521 divided by 6. Yeah, about 87. So I'm going to change this to 87. Yeah, let's make it 86. I get, oops, not 63. 86. All right. Okay, then the next thing I need is I need the coordinate axes. I need to put this up here where it pivots, right about there. And then straight down to 90 degrees. Don't need that anymore. Need my calibration tool. 
right there is about 10 centimeters. So that'd be 0 0.1 meters. I don't need to see that anymore. Now I'm going to click on create point mass and I'm holding down the shift key. I'm clicking on the pith ball. Now the truth is this would be better if I had more data points but you know I'm trying to go kind of fast here. Then I'm going to create another point mass. I have to highlight this and this is going to be my other charged object. My fingers kind of hiding it so I'm imagining it's about here probably. Okay, so um, now I can copy and paste this data for object B, that's the rod, and I'm going to start a spreadsheet program. I'm going to paste it in here. I don't like, like scientific notation. I right click, change the format. I'm going to set the format number to, let's say, three decimal places. Come back to this one. I'm going to change this to mass A. Hit the table. I want the angle as well. Oops. And then I'm going to copy and paste all this data into another sheet here. And again, I don't like... Um, scientific notation here necessarily. So I'm going to change it to three decimal places. And now I'm going to put all this on one sheet. Okay, so my angle here is actually in degrees. Um, but the calculations that are done in here, whenever you're using angles, are in radians. And if you remember, I need actually to figure out the tangent of the angle. Okay, so the angle in radians, that would be equal to pi times this angle divided by 180. And then this would be equal to tangent of this. And I can copy and paste this. Now to figure out the R. Now keep in mind I actually need to have weight. I guess I would have one more here. Weight times tangent of the angle. But I don't know the mass right now. That's what you guys are going to be finding out today. Um, I also need to figure out the distance away in meters. And that's going to be equal to the distance formula, which will be the x's, difference in the x's squared, plus the difference in the y's. squared, and then the square root of that, of course. Okay, so what I'm going to be plotting is I'm going to be plotting the force, electric force right here, which is in Newtons, versus, actually, um, the R in meters here versus um, the force in newtons. Um, so this, in other words, here, let me add this in here. This is going to be my y's, and this is going to be my x's. And so I can go ahead and, and plot it by doing an insert. Uh, let's see. Scatter plot. Right click. 
on this, select my data, and my x's will be these, and my y's will be these. And so I don't have them yet, so I can't do this at this point. Okay, so that's what you're going to be doing. 